Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fitzo is in life-threatening condition after being shot in the stomach. The new Russian law passed in Georgia is a step in the wrong direction, according to a NATO spokesperson. Slovakia's Prime Minister Robert Fico has been injured in a shooting and taken to hospital. According to local television TA3, Fico was hit in the stomach. A suspect has been detained and parliament works have been called off. The incident took place in the town of Handlova, around 150 kilometers northeast of capital Bratislava, while Fizzo was meeting with supporters. Police sealed off the scene. The new Russian law passed in Georgia is a step in the wrong direction, according to a NATO spokesperson. Farah Dekwala, who is the NATO spokesperson, said the Georgian government's decision to pass legislation on the so-called foreign agents is a step in the wrong direction. She added that it took further away from what she described as European and Euro-Atlantic integration. Protests against the bill have been ongoing for weeks. Protesters blocked the main highway in Tbilisi after some clashed with riot police outside Parliament following the law being passed. Nous avons besoin Que l'Europe change de cap. It's with this slogan the French right wing candidate François Xavier Bellamy hopes to boost his political campaign as his party lags behind in the polls for the upcoming EU elections. Announcing his Republican Party's program on Tuesday in Paris, the MEP has focused his campaign on two main themes European sovereignty and immigration. Nous proposons que tous les États européens fassent monter leur contribution à l'effort de défense collective pour atteindre 3% du PIB, c'est un défi majeur pour nous. Bellamy also said he is for the construction of physical walls at the borders of the EU. And to achieve all of this, Bellamy makes it clear his party will not vote for current EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, who is part of his EPP party in Brussels. Nous ne souhaitions pas donner un second mandat à Ursula von der Leyen. Le moins que l'on puisse dire c'est que cette position aura été en réalité très loin d'être marginale, suivie par une grande partie des formations politiques qui constituent le PPE. The right-wing candidate assured he is the head of the only right-wing party in France that can actually make his country's voice heard in Brussels. Le Parti Populaire Européen auquel nous appartenons sera, selon toute vraisemblance, le premier groupe parlementaire à l'issue de ces élections. Nous sommes la seule liste qui peut permettre aux Français de faire demain la décision dans le débat européen. But with only 8% of voting intentions, the traditional right-wing party finds itself caught in between French President Emmanuel Macron's list that leans towards the centre-right and the far-right National Rally Party, currently leading the polls at 32%. Sono Linda Laura Sabadini, già direttrice dell'Istituto Italiano di Statistica e chair di Women 20. Il prossimo Parlamento europeo deve ridurre la disuguaglianza di genere nel lavoro, nella società, nei luoghi decisionali, ma deve anche varare lo stupro come reato europeo, lo stupro come rapporto sessuale senza consenso esplicito delle donne. Os antropos do politismo 
ε, με τις αξίες ανθρωπισμού και παιδείας ως προτεραιότητα. Θέλω να παρελέψω για την αλλαγή νοοτροπίας σε μια Ευρώπη ακροδεξιά, για την θέσπιση της ειρήνης και των διεθνών σχέσεων, το σεβασμό στο παιδί και στη γυναίκα σε μια περίοδο που οι γυναικοκτονίες μας έχουν συγκλονίσει, σε μια πραγματικά συμπεριληπτική κοινωνία για τους ανθρώπους με αναπηρία, με το σεβασμό στο περιβάλλον και στα ζώα, με έννοιες που μοιάζουν πολυτελείς, αλλά είναι η αξία της ζωής. Με τέτοιες ανθρωπιστικές αξίες θα έχουμε δικαιότερη Ευρώπη και δικαιότερο κόσμο. Björn Höcke, the co-leader of the far-right alternative for Germany party, has been fined 13,000 euros for using a Nazi slogan in a speech. The state court in Halle convicted Höcke of using symbols from an unconstitutional organization. Das Gericht sah es als erwiesen an, dass der Angeklagte im Mai 2021 auf einer Wahlkampfveranstaltung im Sachsen-Anhaltischen Merseburg eine Rede gehalten und bei dieser Rede die Formulierung alles für unsere Heimat, alles für Sachsen-Anhalt, alles für Deutschland verwendet hat. Und es sah es als erwiesen an, dass der Angeklagte gewusst hat, dass es sich bei dem letzten Teil dieser Formulierung, also alles für Deutschland, um eine verbotene Parole der Sturmabteilung der NSDAP gehandelt hat. Höcke argued that everything for Germany is an everyday saying. Protesters outside the court welcome the verdict. Dass die Justiz klar macht, der Rechtsstaat ist wehrhaft und die Demokratie steht gegen ihre Feinde. 52-year-old Höcke testified at the trial that he's completely innocent. The former history teacher described himself as a law-abiding citizen. But the prosecutor argued in closing arguments that Höcke had used Nazi vocabulary strategically and systematically in the past. Palestinians mark 76 years of dispossession amidst fear of a repeat of their painful history. They refer to the day as the Nakba, which is the Arabic word for catastrophe. In 1948, around 700,000 Palestinians fled or were driven from their homes following the war that followed Israel's establishment. The group formed a seemingly permanent refugee community with the current population of around 6 million. احنا ما بننسى بلدنا احنا بالقنينه بهالوقت هذا الطفل اللي بيخلق من رضعه بالقنينه انه انت فلسطيني وبدأ لازم بلدك ترجع للطفل احنا ما بننساها لفلسطين وبدنا نرجع عليها اذا ما رجعت انا ابني حفيدي حفيد حفيدي يعني المهم فلسطين راح ترجع Israel's rejection of what Palestinians say is their right to return has been a core grievance in the conflict, which has so far killed more than 35,000 Palestinians. Most of the refugees live in impoverished camps in Lebanon, Syria, Jordan and the West Bank. These camps have historically been a bastion of Palestinian militancy. A curfew was imposed on the French Pacific Island territory of New Caledonia following violent riots. At least two died and more than 130 were arrested. Riots reportedly erupted over planned changes to the constitution. They involved expanding voter eligibility in local elections to include French nationals who lived on the island for more than 10 years. The move was seen by the indigenous Kanak population as an attempt to minimize their influence. One in eight European lives in an area at risk of flooding according to the latest European Environment Agency report, which warns of the impact of climate change on the entire water cycle, including droughts and forest fires. In 40 years, floods have already claimed over 5,580 lives, and the danger seems greater than ever. A lot of people 
lot of the economic activities in Europe are still based in uh, flat plains. For example, about 15% uh, of industrial facilities across uh, Europe uh, may be based in flat plains. Of course, also uh, infrastructure such as wastewater treatment plants uh, are located further downstream and over a third of them in Europe are located in, uh, in flat plains. According to the report, 11% of hospitals are in areas at risk. Droughts and heat waves also threaten water quality by increasing the concentration of pollutants. Taken together, these events threaten people's access to water, affect the cooling systems of nuclear power stations and affect agriculture. Of course, the co main consequence is that it affects the agriculture and the food production. In 2022, we've seen really drop in production of maize, of corn, of olive oil, for example, especially in, in southern uh, Europe. And it's estimated that uh, around 9 billion of euros every year are caused by uh, the losses caused by droughts um, in uh, agriculture, public water supply and energy sectors. The European Agency is therefore calling on all stakeholders to limit the development of areas at risk. It suggests solutions inspired by nature, such as planting trees to retain water or reusing treated water. Finally, the agency is calling on a more effective early warning system.